Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you how to control multimedia. So we got this HTML5 video right here. We got a couple of buttons. At the moment, they don't do anything. They are just part of a form. I just hooked them up. It's nothing. This is nothing new. We've learned about the onclick event before. If you haven't, feel free to go back and check out the events videos and then feel free to come back here. We got this little video. I could, you know, just, you know, go here, show control and play this video like so, but I want to be able to trigger it using a JavaScript event. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and just have buttons that trigger it, but you might have some sort of other condition that triggers it as well. Maybe when your page loads, it automatically starts playing the video. Maybe when you, are no longer focused on the video element or even on the page it you know stops or pauses the video scenarios like that where you're not directly interacting with the video but you want the video to be modified in terms of its playback so we've got the button that are already hooked up fortunately for us it's actually really simple to do this all we have to do first of all we've got to create a variable i'll call it my video and this is simply going to get the element that is the video and I'm going to get get it by the ID the ID that I've assigned is video one forget that put that here and now we are just going to do a little check so we're going to say if my video dot pause so this means the video is paused if it pause we want to actually play it my video dot play else if it goes into the else block that means it's already playing and we just want to can you guess just pause it so now let's run it see what we get so if i click play pause click it again as you can see it plays it and pauses it but we also want to be able to stop it to do that we need this bit of code here there isn't a direct stop button or you know stop command so what you have to actually do do my video dot pause or so pause it but then do my video dot current time so you essentially set the current time to zero and you know because it pauses you and it sets it back to the start it's essentially not stopping it so reload it play pause click stop as you can see that works a okay and that plays it from the start again and that's it for controlling multimedia what i want you to do as an extra task is have two extra buttons one for forwarding and one for rewinding and implement them you'll need some sort of variables there will be some other really cool features of the javascript multimedia controls that you can use as well so feel free to take a look at that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video